Hi, I'm Eileen Wyatt, and I'm here this evening sitting on the Howard Junior Theater stage, and to my left is David McCarty, and we have exciting news because starting this Thursday, Into the Woods is going to be here at the Howard Junior Theater, and David is both the director and the choreographer. And can you tell me a little bit about the play, David? Absolutely. It's a great, great piece of fairy tales put together, all kinds of different fairy tales, uh, you know, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, uh, and they're all combined in a collage that's, um, you know, sort of amazing in the beginning, and then it all turns around and they're sort of turned on their heads in the second act. So we see a bit of the traditional mixed in a new way in the first act, and then everything sort of uh, is turned on its head, that's all I'll say. Well, I, yes, you don't want to give it away, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> but I remember when Into the Woods was first on Broadway, it was quite the talk because yeah. it was so different. Yes, absolutely. And this is your first time directing here. It is my first time directing here. I've done a lot of work here before, both as a performer and a choreographer. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was thrilled when Nina asked me to uh, direct and choreograph this, and I couldn't be more pleased. I mean, it's, it's a huge piece. It's mm. a huge production. Um, and so, um, you know, I think the only way that that can be done in this intimate space is with incredible designers and colleagues. And I have to say um, how, how thrilled I am because we, I've got the A-team of designers here. Oh. I mean, no, I really do. I mean, starting from my great friend and colleague uh, and musical director, Robert Wilder, mm -hmm. who I go back a long way with. Um, it's wonderful to be reunited with him and working with him and all he brings. Uh, but I mean, the set design by uh, Andy Arnold is gorgeous, and the lighting design by Greg Hamm is going to be spectacular, and the sound design by Jay Hagenbachel, and the costume design by Robin McLaughlin, and the props design by Mary Beth Travis, all sort of brought together and guided by Nina's incredible, um, you know, incredible vision and and brilliance at that. It's, it's, it's amazing. So it's been really um, quite an honor and quite a journey, quite a journey, yeah. because it's a, such a huge show uh -huh. to get your hands around it. Um, yeah, it's been quite a journey. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing it, because when I opened the doors to come in here this evening, I couldn't believe the stage. I mean, it is just it amazing. amazing. It's, yes. it's going to be gorgeous. And the cast is fantastic. I have such an such a great cast. I'm, I'm working with people, uh, some of whom for the first time, who I met coming into this process. But I'm also reuniting again with people that I haven't worked with in a while, which is such a, a great pleasure. Um, and they're just so, so unique and so wonderful. I mean, they really are. They're a riot. They're funny. Uh, we've had a very long weekend of tech. Um, <laughs> and um, because there's just a couple of things to work out in this one. <laughs> And they've remained incredibly gracious and pleasant and upbeat and lovely, and that's kind of rare. And I don't want to leave out um, my great uh, stage manager, Chrissy um, McCormick, back there. Um, I see her. She's been trying to get her hands around this with all of us. So, um, you know, it's, it's such a joy because it's a beautiful piece. It's dense, but it's full of so many wonderful, um, wonderful tales and wonderful journeys for all of those characters and the moral is is great you know it's a beautiful tale that i think can affect everyone um because we all go through things in life um some expected some unexpected some good some bad and we all make choices mm. and that's really what this piece is about it's about making choices learning to grow up and um with making those choices, accepting those choices, dealing with the consequences of them, and you know, uh, and also loss. It's about letting go and stuff and learning to do that, which is a huge life lesson. Yes, it is, and it sounds like we have a lot to learn, no matter what our age, yes. from the fairy tales. <laughs> yes, and, and, and the other thing is it's, it's pretty darn funny, the way that it was woven. Um, you know, there are some absolutely wonderful, wonderful entertaining moments woven into the whole thread of the the fabric of the piece and you know so it's been great it's been it's been great and I encourage everyone to come <laughs> as quickly as you can because I think it's going to sell out yes I agree with you and I'm going to give you the information now as to how you can get your tickets it's going to start as we mentioned this coming Thursday February 13th right through March 9th I believe it's Thursday Friday and Thursday 
March 16th. March 16th. Yeah. Okay. And Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 7.30, mm -hmm. and Sundays at 2. Oh, all right. Very good. So come on down and get your tickets at the Howard Junior Theater box office, or give them a call at 508 432 -2002 because this sounds definitely like a play that no one wants to miss. Thank you so much for your time, David. Thank you, Eileen. In the past, when you were no more than a babe, your father brought his young wife with you to this cottage. They were a handsome couple, but not handsome neighbors. You see, your mother was with child, and she developed an unusual appetite. She, told, she took one look at my beautiful garden and told your father that what she wanted more than anything in the world was greens, greens, and nothing but greens, parsley, peppers, cabbages, and celery, asparagus, and watercress, and fiddle, and lettuce. He said, all right, but it wasn't quite. As I caught him in the autumn in my garden one day, he was roaring me, raping me, wounding my food, and they got ready. Or a chair. Or a s I let him have the rent kid I must to spare. In return, however, I said fair is fair. You can let me have the baby that your wife will bear. And we'll call it square. I had a brother. No. But you had a sister. You wish to have the curse reversed? I'll need a certain potion first. Go to the wood and bring me back. One, the cow as white as milk. Two, the cape as red as blood. Three, the hair as yellow as corn. Four, the slipper as pure as gold. Bring me these before the chime of midnight. In three days time, and you shall have, I guarantee, Child is perfect as child can be. Go to the wood and see. Once upon a time, in a far off kingdom, more than anything, lived a young lady, a sad young lad, I mean, childless baby, more than I wish, with his wife.
no money and no choice but to sell her, well, she can still command a price. Milky White is my best friend in the whole world. Look at her! 